All right, so by this time, uh, I'm hoping that you have installed Git. Um, I'm not going to walk through that. I already have it installed on here, and, and you should be familiar with how to install something on, on Windows. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to open the Git bash utility. Um, if you're using Windows 10, then you can simply click on the start menu and start typing in Git bash, which is what I'm going to do, but that's actually on another monitor, so you're not going to see it. Um, so there, that opened up Git bash. Uh, if you're using older Windows, um, it's probably, you can still probably search for it in your start menu, um, or it may be under, um, in the, uh, programs section somewhere. Um, actually it's been a while now since I've used an older version of windows. Um, but, uh, you should be able to find it. If you watch the command line video, um, you should be familiar with the commands I'm about to do, um, and know that I'm going to be moving into a different directory right now. I'm in my, my home uh, directory for, for my user on windows, but I want to move into my server. So I'm going to go into C XAMP HT docs TDC. Now for this series, I don't, uh, you don't need to have a server or anything like that. I'm just putting that here because that's where I store everything. Um, you could do this really in any directory that you want to do it. That, that works too. First thing that I want to make sure is that if you installed Git properly, well, one, this bash wouldn't be here if, if you didn't, uh, but just to make sure, let's, let's run the Git command and you should see something like this come up. And that means that you've installed Git correctly. So if you have the bash open and you got this uh, result from typing in Git, well, then we're good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a directory for our Git project. And I'm going to call that git example. So now we have that directory and I'm going to move into it. Should probably type it correctly. All right, so now we're in there. Take a look, it's an empty directory. Um, and now what we're going to do in this video here is we're going to talk about creating a repository with Git. Now, it's important to note that this is a local repository. It's on your machine only at this point. Um, so everything we're doing, we're, we're doing for our own version control. Um, and to create a repository is uh, extremely simple. In your directory, make sure you have moved into it. Type git init. There you go. We've created an uh, empty Git repository in our directory here. And the way you know that you did this is if you look in the directory listing. However, if you do this with just the LL command, you're going to see nothing. But if you add the flag A dash A hyphen A, then uh, then this will show hidden files. And there it is. There's a directory called dot Git. Now let's move into there and take a quick look. Now let's do a listing and go ahead and do the dash A to pick up any hidden files. So this directory makes up what controls your Git repository, uh, for lack of better words. Um, odds are you're not going to come in here and manipulate anything. You're going to want to leave this alone. Um, there are reasons to come in here and manipulate things and add things, but those are more advanced topics. Um, any any basic changes you need to make can be done with the git command um, and it will modify this directory. So basically stay out of here. Let's go ahead and back out. So CD dot dot to back, go back a directory. And now we're back in our repository directory. Um, now one command you're going to use quite often in git is the git status. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that now. All right. So this is going to tell you Kind of where you're at with your project. Um, if you've made changes, it's going to tell you that you've made changes and you need to do something with those changes. Or if you've at, and changes could be anything from modifying files to adding files, removing files, um, and those needed to be added to this what's called the staging area. And we'll get into that in, in, a, in a minute here. What to remember from this is to start a repository, use git init, and that creates that 
git that dot git directory which makes this a git project without the, that this is not a git project anymore um, and then git status and that'll tell you pretty much all the information on where where you're at with your project